Like an ocean view or a Park Avenue address, majestic old-growth trees have become irreplaceable commodities in luxury real estate. In Sag Harbor, New York, Peter D'Angelo, the new owner of Maycroft, moved the historic estate 100 yards and rotated it for a better view of a grand maple tree. In Washington, D.C., Stephanie and Hunter Johnston purchased a home for $3.12 million in the Fox Hall development. One selling point was the towering pine in the front yard. Another was the pocket-sized grove next door. Brian and Catherine Lucas, who bought an undeveloped Fox Hall lot for $2 million, are taking elaborate measures to safeguard their trees, which will be fenced to keep trucks off sensitive root zones. In Amenia, New York, Karen and John Klopp have become so attached to the Camperdown elm behind their home that they babysat it during a snowstorm. The Klopps, whose primary home is in Manhattan, bought the $4 million farm property in 2002. The elm was the centerpiece of an expansion of a bluestone patio. Fifty people can be seated under the tree's canopy, which is strung with white lights. On Kiowa Island, South Carolina, a massive live oak tree inspired the design of John and Judy Elias's vacation home. The house, which has a market value of $3.1 million, according to the Charleston County Appraiser's Office, is screened from its neighbors and a nearby golf course by its thick foliage. The architect planned the entire house around the live oak, building a raised deck around its trunk to serve as a central courtyard. In Sonoma, California, Mac and Leslie McQuan bought a former sheep ranch and transformed the property into a vineyard estate called Stone Edge Farm. They also built a Zen spa and observatory as a retreat from the bustle of the farm. Rows of antique Seviano olive trees, which they purchased and transported nearly 300 miles, now create dramatic walkways between the observatory, lap pool, and spa. Inspired by their sculptural beauty, architects are designing entire homes around these grand trees. <laughs>